Hey YouTube, what is up? Today I want to talk to you about motivation. The other day I was talking to a client and she asked me, um, Yeli, listen, I love your program, I love everything we're doing, but sometimes I find it really hard to do my workouts. What can I do? So guys, there is something we need to know. Motivation, it's not always there. It happens to everybody. So what we're going to talk about today are techniques you could use to always uh, be motivated whenever you find it super hard to do your workout or your physical activity for the day. So number one, you are going to think about someone you admire. Okay. This person could be a celebrity, could be a CEO, could be anyone you admire, um, a sports personality. In my case, I love J-Lo. Look at that body. Um, and whenever I feel tired or I start to come up with excuses as to why I should just take the day off and do that work of tomorrow, I think, what would she do? Would she skip the workout? Or would she just go for it, maybe a shorter version or a less intense version? So that's something you could do. Think about someone you admire and think what would that person do um, in your shoes? Would that person just be comfortable with the fact that, you know what, I'm just gonna do it tomorrow, let me just turn on the TV, or would that person be like, you know what? I said I was gonna work out today, I'm gonna do it. Number two, think about the person you want to become. So this is something that's, uh, that's really important for us to understand. We are our habits. We are what we do daily, okay? So example, if I want to be a chef or a great cook, I need to cook almost every day. I need to practice my skills. If I wanna be a painter, if I wanna be able to say, I am Jalitza, I am a painter, then I need to paint every day. If I wanna be a reader, I need to read. If I wanna be a writer, I need to write. If I wanna play an instrument, I need to practice every day. If I want to be a physically active person, I need to be physically, physically active almost every day, okay? So think about the person you want to be. You cannot call yourself a physically active person if you keep on procrastinating and avoiding the workout. All right. So this it's gonna it goes hand on hand, hand in hand with my next point, which is think about your goal. So maybe you guys have a goal, a specific goal. Um, I don't, for example. Um, but some people are right now looking forward to. Uh, be more built or more toned or lose a little bit of belly fat um, or be able to uh, climb the stairs at work without feeling tired. All these are goals and whenever you feel like you don't want to work out, think about why you started in the first place. What made you work out? Why are you doing this? What's your goal? Do you think you're gonna achieve that goal but by sitting down on the couch watching Netflix? I doubt it, all right? So think about your goal. Number four, think about how you feel after your workout. When we work out, when we sweat, when we move, our body releases all these um, neurotransmitters and all these hormones and we feel great. Guys, maybe, uh, let's say, I'm gonna use the example of running because that's a workout I've been doing now that it's beautiful here in Montreal, it's not too cold. Um, sometimes I need to drag my booty out of the door because I really don't feel like it. But once I do it, it's like, <sighs> I'm so happy I did it, right? So think about the way you feel afterwards. Think about that whenever you don't feel like doing your workout because facts are in you will feel great. Trust me on that one, okay? So use these techniques, they're very simple. You could use one of them, two of them, um, all of them combined. Find the one that motivates you the most and please understand, it's not easy to be motivated every day to do the workout. 
it's not easy and I understand. I tell my clients sometimes if none of these techniques work, then call me and we'll talk. Maybe talking to me, you will feel you know, compelled to finish your workout or you know what? Maybe that day you do actually need to take the day off, but make it conscious. Don't, don't let, um, don't let Netflix or the couch or laziness rule your life. Okay. If you actually thought about your options and decided you're gonna skip your workout today, make it be for the for a good reason. Maybe you need to rest. Maybe you don't feel well. Maybe your foot hurts today. But if not, there is no excuse. You should get at least 150 minutes of physical activity per week. It's totally doable. And if you need help, I'm there for you. Thank you guys for watching this. Um, let me remind you to follow me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also you can go to my website, jelitzagarcia.com for more um, health and wellness tips. Love you. Ciao, ciao.